Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Fifi Kengmo. Today I'll be talking to you about nine ways that you wasted and live paycheck to paycheck. What can you do to break from that living from paycheck to paycheck? Number one is be organized, clean your space. Imagine if you live in the crowded house, you live in the dirty house. You're not going to be mentally healthy. So it's the same thing that goes with your bill. Make sure you have your bill organized. Have a calendar where you put this bill is due today, this bill is due this day. You know, today we all have a phone that have a calendar. So you can plug in those dates that your bill are due or do it in your notebook or in the notebook on your phone or the notebook on the paper so you know oh i don't want to miss the deadline on this bill so i'll be paying late fees so you have to be organized clean your space your workspace or your home is all together clean that space so when things are clean you can find what you need really quickly so that's the first step have to avoid late fees because we don't want to overpay here when we did not have to. Trying to change your lifestyle. So how, how do you do that? Decrease your cost of living on unnecessary things. Do stop purchasing things that you don't need. If you have the car that is running and it's a good condition, you don't need to go buy another new car because you saw your friend driving a new car. If you're living in a house that is cheap and it's a good interest rate rate why do you want to go buy a mansion at the eight percent or seven percent now when you could be still living on your old house and pay you know, a cheap mortgage don't imitate people stop imitating people so you don't have to be living paycheck to paycheck number three most of things that we have we don't need it check that Everything that you buy, do you need them? Have a ghost, you know, for your grace lilies, for anything that you have. Do you need it? Something in your closet that you haven't wear for a long time. Do you need it? Can you sell it? Can you sell this to get some income? Can you, you know, try and stop imitating some people's lifestyle because you don't know other income resources those people have. It's not because you saw your coworker. With this or with that, you want to have it. You don't know what a she or a she does apart coming to work. Do not imitate people. Live below your mean so you don't have to be living paycheck to paycheck. And between this, don't forget the debt snowball. How we pay down the debt from the smallest to the highest. So we pay according to Dave Ramsey debt snowball we pay from the small credit card to the high the small interest rate to the highest interest or from the small amount of the the, the, the credit card to the highest and that we have to do like, like a debt snowball we pay it off and we add the other one on top and we pay it off you add other income what i'm using for the previous one to the next one to the next one until we pay off our debt because when you're debt free you see more income coming in that you can use it for your investment. Number four, that we fail to have emergency fund. It's because when you don't have emergency fund, what you do when you have emergency? You have to go swap that credit card. How much interest is that credit card? 29%, 30%. The cheapest now is like 24%. Do you need to do that to yourself to pay this banker to be a billionaire? when you're there living paycheck to paycheck, have an emergency plan in place. So you, when emergency happen, you have the fund to deal with that emergency. So we have to put that money where? In our high saving account, high yield saving account. That's where we have to pack that money. When emergency track, we go there and get the money, solve the problem and we good. And number five is like, stop copying people from social media people they see in social media the life they show you is not the life they have don't see somebody in the social media million view because she putting all this blinking blinking stuff do not imitate them just live your life as how your life is 
do not imitate people unless they're doing something something that can positively impact you yes but if you just want to imitate them because they're shining they are this they do cosmetic thing or they do plastic surgery they look good you want to look like them no you have to copy good example from them do not copy what they're showing you just copy the good one that it can help you for your own good do not copy bad habit number seven is failure to change behavior what is the behavior we have that we cannot change we fail to 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 save the money we say we, we fail to take action when a bill comes we don't pay what are you expecting the 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 the, the, the late fee is going to keep piling up piling up we fail to organize our finances and that finances failure to organize your finances is like a cancer to poverty so we don't want to live that kind of life that we have cancer in our finance so we have to try to be on top of our finance on top of our expenses and on on top of what we buy on top on top of what we need we don't have to just do what we see people doing that in think that their life is so good when it inside it's not the case we have to stop imitating that those bad habit and number eight is a failure to make a budget so the what do you mean by that so when you you want to plan something and you haven't budgeted for it you want to go to a vacation you do not budget for it so when now you get up in the morning oh i'm going here you don't have that budget what do you do you put yourself into debt to satisfy your ego or to satisfy the outsider the outsider is not living in you you're the one that living that pain to pay to pay off that debt stop you know you have to stop that behavior failure to budget you have to budget you have to plan before you execute you're planning to do something you plan that according to you put the money on the side for that that uh, the, that topic you want to do but that, that vacation that car you want to buy and number nine is avoid putting your ourselves on sale most of us trying to help people especially back home and we forgot about ourselves you hear you living in the rent you're renting an apartment and you pay maybe somebody else rent back home when the person is not a disabled is it worth it for yourself? It's like you're putting yourself on sale. You're the one getting up at 4 a.m. You're the one coming back at 9 p.m. or 11 p.m. And you don't put anything on yourself to, to for your own future. You care too much about people. What are they going to say if I don't do this? What are they going to say when I don't do that? No. It's like you're putting yourself on, yourself on sale. Stop putting yourself on sale so you can progress. Help yourself first and that you can help others when you are financially stable and um, you know trying that you know put your you know, put yourself first save your money pay your debt get your own house before you can try to buy a house for somebody else because that's what is you know it, it make you financial independence so you'll be able to have my more income to help other people but if you're putting yourself too short you be always have stress free you have headache i don't have money for this i don't have money for that because you're putting yourself on sale stop helping people when you're not able to help yourself trying to have your financial stable before you can start helping your friend helping your whatever people you want to help but you have to have your own stability first this is what we need to do to have financial freedom so we don't live paycheck to paycheck because you live paycheck to paycheck it's not a life it's not a life and we don't need that for ourselves for our children for our you know for our partner that we have so you don't want to put stress on somebody else when it's something that you could have solved yourself please if you like what i'm saying subscribe to my channel share and comment below for me to continue helping us here because me included we're all here to have financial freedom and i just need your help to make the message that other people can learn from us 
and that YouTube algorithm, I can make that my video can be, you know, viewed by other people. I love you all and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. For those who have already subscribed, please like. For new people, please subscribe, turn the notification button so you can see my video. I put video every Sunday and Wednesday. Thank you. I love you all. Ciao.